women is so important throughout the economy and through leadership through these offices because we don't value women in society and that's just the fact you know if it wasn't Lehman Brothers but Lehman Sisters we might not have had the financial collapse Tammy Bruce is a radio host and president of Independence Women's Voice, and she joins us tonight. Tammy, I feel almost mean Excuse playing me. that. I, you know, I'm not. I don't dislike Kristen Gillibrand. I felt sorry for her watching that because it was didn't make any sense. It was kind of sad, but I thought maybe there's something deeper here. And since you're a resident deep person, I thought I'd run it by you. What do you think of that? Well, you know, I'll, I, I can get as deep as just saying that it was stupid. Uh, it's insulting. Yeah. Uh, it is sexist. And it's the argument that misogynists make. What she was referring to is a, is a study that said because women are, are risk averse, that they would have taken less right. chances. And so Lehman Brothers would have been just fine. Uh, this argument, though, puts all women into a category of expecting their behavior to be based on their gender. And it is gender stereotypical. Uh, it is based in a sexist expectation that women are going to behave a certain way because of their sex. Uh, and that, and this is the other argument that mis uh, misogynists use, is that women are uh, uh, risk averse and they're, as a result, uh, more frightened by things. They're less uh, apt to uh, take uh, risks. And, you know, risks does not mean that you're uh, that it's a dumb decision. Look, uh, women's lives are filled with risks. When we wake up in the morning, it's risky. We get pregnant, it's risky. We give birth to children, it's risky. We've changed the, yeah. uh, the academy. We've changed the military. Uh, everything we do every day is a risk, and we do it well. But the arguments by misogynists are that by pinning all women together through their gender is that it's why women don't make history. It's that women are not brave enough to do great art, that we aren't uh, interesting enough to invent things, that we are not uh, brave enough to be military leaders. She's arguing there, through this risk-averse, gender-based stereotype, that a woman could also not be a president, because it's the same framework. Uh, and this is what we have to reject. And, and so, of course, it's insulting, and it is, it is uh, Wait, misogynist so and sexist uh, to boot. So I'm, I guess I'm looking at it from the other angle, which is, why is she attacking men? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm a man. I have yeah. a son who's an adult man. He didn't do anything to tank the banks. Do, well, do you know what I mean? He didn't you talk about it all the profit time, from credit default swaps. Like, it, why are you blaming a huge group for the sins of, of a few? Because it's what you've recognized uh, repeatedly, and I think exclusively, is this argument by the left about toxic masculinity. It is about, it is about condemning and indicting all men for simply being men. And her argument, in order to counter that, you can't argue what feminists have always, or at least my generation did, that women can do what men do. We, in fact, are very similar. Our styles might be more different, but women can accomplish what men accomplish. What she's arguing is, since there's toxic masculinity, and that is a foundational theory now of the left, we have to counteract it by saying that, that the peaceful, simple woman who is not as aggressive is the answer. So this now condemns them into putting women into one category in order to succeed at condemning all men. And what they end up doing is saying that women can't be president, women can't be a leader, women but by their... Well, look, we had one president who behaved this way, and it was Barack Obama, a man who was too afraid to confront ISIS, too afraid of his own red line with Syria, too afraid to really govern and help the economy, uh, too afraid right. of tyrants no, around the world. That's what she's advocating for, and it certainly is not a feminine trait. Well, I don't blame all women for Christian Gillibrand. <laughs> so thank you. Because I'm, I'm above that. Tammy, thank, thank you. you. It's great to talk to you tonight. My pleasure. Thank you, Tucker. Well, obesity is an actual crisis in America. How did it happen, by the way? Oh, did the government cause it by pushing bogus science instead of facts? Yeah, that's true, actually. No one ever says it, but, of course, we're going to. Details ahead.